We are here with the patient, female, and we're going to examine her energy levels with a technique known as electropuncture, according to Vol. With this instrument, we will measure the energy present in the patient's meridians. From the measurements, we will be able to see if the patient's energy fluxes are normal. This point indicates the lymphatic system. This is a scale of values which goes from 0 to 100, a reference index, which has been established by convention in which the level 50 represents normality, or at least that's what we should be aiming towards. If the values are higher than uh, 50, they indicate an inflammatory reaction. If the values are lower than 50, they indicate degenerative phenomena. In short, if the white line appears, the meridian presents some anomaly. There is something wrong. This is the meridian of the lungs. This is the meridian of the large intestine. This is the nervous system, the circulation. These are the patient's allergic processes. This, the cellular metabolism, indicates the presence of degenerative layers of cells. It's very important. This is the endocrine system, very important for a woman. The heart and the small intestine. We will now repeat what we have done on the right hand to the left hand. Why are we doing this? Because our organs are evenly matched. So this is the first chart referencing the projection of the energies present in the patient's hands. The white parts, basically, indicate an energy drop, an energy drop. As you can see, in this patient, there are some allergies or intolerances, and the most important apparatus is that of the endocrine. We will now move on to the feet. Here we are analyzing the meridian of the pancreas. Now the liver. Here it's dropping a lot. In fact, this is the organ which has shown the greatest fall in the index. This is the patient's overall chart. So we have completed it. And we can see that the meridian, with the biggest energy drop, in, in other words, with the longest white strip, is the meridian of the articulations, then the meridian of the liver, the endocrine system, and after that, the allergies, the gallbladder. We've got our work cut out here. So now I've been asked to conduct this test again, while the patient holds this photograph in her hand. I don't know how, but there's something here which has changed everything. It's incredible.
Good gracious. Change it over. Change it over to the right side of the body. So, this is the first part of the test. Yes, it really is incredible. I don't know what's happening, but it would take six months of treatment to get to this stage. So, this is the examination of the patient while she holds the photo in her hand. I don't know who this person is, but it is incredible. Look at the differences. First, the test carried out without the photo. This is the difference between the two tests. This one on the left with the photo and this one without the photo of the hands and the feet. It's really incredible. Something has modified the state of her energy levels. No, it's impossible. No, it's impossible. If we give her any old pieces of paper. Give me that piece of paper. It's impossible. This machine is like a lie detector. It's really incredible. I mean, in theory, by carrying this photo about on her person, her regulating systems are regularized automatically without medication. I've never seen it before. I've seen all sorts of things. I could show you a lot of things, but I have never seen a phenomenon of this kind. Basically, it has the same effect as constitutional in homeopathy. If we administer a constitutional, it gives the same effect but comes from a medication, from a plant, or a mineral, from a vegetable, but from a photo, that's incredible. Look at the effect. It's really clear-cut. We can take anything else, nothing else changes. I don't know what this photo's got, but the patient touches a piece of paper of any kind, of any thickness, size, or color, nothing happens. She just goes back to being as ill as she was before. We can try some other things. This is no placebo effect, don't worry. Not at all. This is a lie detector. In this object, there is something that alters the patient's energies. This photo, I don't know what it's got, but it emits something which changes people's biological cycles. So, of course, it gives them good health. But I don't know how this phenomenon occurs. Inside it, there's something which normalizes living beings, so it regularizes the biological cycles with extremely positive results. See these other levels. You need to have to be well, so that the body isn't separate from the mind, and the mind follows the body and vice versa. This is the correct amount of energy. We could, shouldn't see any of the phenomena that we saw earlier of drops in the index levels. But what happens is that when we take the photo away, it all goes back to how it was before. 